Hey guys, welcome to today's video, which is gonna be a tutorial, and it's actually for this mushroom crochet lighter holder. So you can actually use it to also hold crystals. It's a really cute gift that you could give for Christmas. You can also tie it on your tote bag, make it a little tote bag charm. You can put it in the rearview mirror in your car and hold your crystals in there. If you wanna make it longer, you can fit some other things. So this one is a little bit bigger because I used a 5.75 hook. And if you want this same size, then use that size hook. But for the tutorial, I'm gonna be using a five millimeter hook. You can go between a four and a five, so anywhere in between there, the pattern's gonna stay the same. It'll just be a little bit smaller and tighter if you use a four, so I think a five is kind of perfect. You'll also need a color for your base. I like this cream color, it's also really soft. This is Michael's yarn. And then you'll need a color for the top. I'm gonna use purple. And then you'll also need a color for the spots, but I just use the same color as the base. Oh, and you'll also need a little sewing hook, so make sure it's big enough to fit the yarn in there. And you don't really need a lot of yarn for this. It's a really, really easy tutorial, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with a magic circle. So you just use your two fingers to make a circle. And then we're gonna put our hook through the circle and pull through one loop. So we're gonna do six double crochets into the magic circle. And we're gonna do that six times. So two, Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you're gonna pull this end to pull it close. To close off this round, you're going to do a slip stitch through the first chain, just like that. So this is the bottom of your mushroom. Now you're gonna chain two to start the next row and in this same hole that you did your chain two, you're gonna do another double crochet and that's gonna count for two double crochets in the first chain. So you're gonna do two double crochets across this whole row in each stitch and then you'll have 12 stitches at the end. Two. Okay, so now you're gonna count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need one more. Twelve. And then you're gonna slip stitch through where you did your chain to the very top to end the second row. Okay, so now you have twelve stitches. Now you have the first row of six double crochets, the second row of 12 double crochets. Now you're gonna do 12 double crochets again. So basically just one double crochet in each stitch. And once you're done with this row, you will do the same thing for the next three rows. Okay, so now you're gonna give your mushroom some length. So you'll do the same thing three more times. If you want it even longer, just keep going until you get your desired length. So we'll chain two to start the next one, and then go into the next stitch with double crochets.
So we'll put the lighter in to see the length. So I still want a little bit more coverage, so we're going to keep going. Now we're going to slip stitch and that was our last row. So that's six rows. Let's try it again. Cute. Now it covers basically the whole thing. For the strap you will just chain however long that you want yours to be. If you want it to make it as long as a necklace you could go to 80. I'm doing about 45 so that it is the length that you can put it on your tote bag. So it's kind of short, but if you want a necklace, I would do 80 or 85. I'm going to finish chaining and then I'll be back. Alright, so now that we're done with the chains, you have your little strap right here. And I'm going to count six across so that it's evenly in the center. And then I'm going to slip stitch through the other side. So go through here and pull through and then that's a slip stitch. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut the extra yarn, but I am leaving enough to tie a knot. So then I'm pulling this through, and that's going to tie the strap onto the bag. But we're not done yet, don't just leave it like this. You're going to take your embroidery needle and just loop it through. And we're going to finish off this strap. So how I'm going to do this is just kind of like tie a knot through here and kind of securing this through so just like going around the strap. And then what I like to do is turn my project inside out once I'm done. So I'm going to do all of the knots on the outside for right now. And I'm going to bring this down so that the knot isn't visible. Just like that. Okay, and then with the extra yarn, I'm just going to tie a knot. And this is just going to keep the strap secure. And then cut off the extra. And same thing with this one down here, you're going to want to pull it really tight to make sure it's closed and tie a knot. With this one you can double knot it, triple knot it, just make sure it's pretty tight. Especially if you're going to have heavy things, you should probably tie it a few times. Okay, now cut off the extra. Okay, so here is our bag, but now we're going to turn it inside out so that none of the knots are showing. And there we go, there's our cutie bag. Now let's start the top. So the top is just as simple as the bag. We're gonna do the same thing, start with a magic ring and pull a loop through your magic ring. So now we're gonna do eight double crochets into the magic ring. The first one's always a struggle. Once you got the first one, it's a little bit easier. So it's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. So then we're going to pull this side to close it up and slip stitch into the first chain. Sorry, the first stitch. Can you tell it's my first crochet tutorial? It's the first time I'm teaching somebody. All right, so we have eight. This is gonna be our first row. We're basically gonna do the same thing that we did with the mushroom. The second row, we're gonna do two double crochets for each stitch, making it 16 stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, six, 
Okay, so now that we have 16, we're gonna close it up with a slip stitch. So now we're gonna do one double crochet in each stitch. So we'll start with the chain two and that will count for the first double crochet. Then into the next stitch, you'll do another single double crochet, double crochet into the next, and you'll go all the way till you get to the end at 16 stitches. All right, so this was the last double crochet, so we're gonna slip stitch and then start our new row. So that's three rows, and it's just a little stub right now but we want to make it a little bit longer so that it can go around and kind of fit better on the baggie. So we're going to do one more row of double crochets into each stitch. Alright, so this is the last stitch, so I'm just going to slip stitch and finish this row. And now I'm going to cut off a little bit extra and pull this through. For the top extra little piece, I'm just going to do a little knot and then cut off the extra. Okay, and then for this end piece, you're going to do the same thing that you did with the baggie. Just finish off the ends. And just gonna finish off this one and make sure it's secure. All right, and then like I said, I like to turn my stuff inside out. So I'm gonna do the knot on the outside. So I'm just bringing the knot down so like I said, it's not visible. And then I'll tie it right here. There we go, and then just cut off the extra. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it inside out and try it back on. So stick the needle through the center, sorry, the hook, <laughs> and then pull through the baggie. You can leave it like this if you like it. I'm gonna add the dots, so now you'll just need only your embroidery hook and whatever color yarn you choose. So I'm just gonna do about Maybe is that like a foot and a half? Doesn't need to be perfect. Just some extra yarn. I like to double my yarn so that the dots are kind of more plushy and they stand out a little bit better. So I'm just gonna knot this end. Oh, you can do them however you want, whatever your eye sees. I just do probably four dots across. So we'll go one. I lifted the cap up so that I'm not accidentally sewing to the bag, but basically just doing the same thing, coming out through one side and then back in, making a little dot. So you can do, like I said, as many as you want. I like it a pretty simple looking, so not too much, just four. All right, so when you're done, just cut off the extra. And I'm gonna flip it inside out so I can make a nice knot with the ends. And make sure the knot is big enough to where it won't slip out through the other side. And then cut off the extra. And now when you flip it back, it's so cute and you can play around with your hook sizes. Like I said, this one was a five. If you want it a little bit bigger, go to six. I would say six is probably the biggest you should go. But these are so cute. They're a perfect little gift for somebody. They have a lot of character. 
So it's so cute. I love her. And I just love the colors of like the purple. You can do so many different colors. If you just have scrap yarn, this is a perfect project because you really don't need that much yarn. Also, I wanted to let you guys know I do sell these on my website too. So if you're like already overwhelmed by the thought of making one and you would just like to have one, you can check out my website. I make them all by hand with love and it'll be sent from me. So yeah, you can check that out if you want to. But other than that, if you end up making this, please show me on Instagram, tag me or send me an email. I really want to see it and just let me know where you put it, if you put it on your tote bag, in your car. I love these things. They make me so happy. They spark so much joy. So if you give this as a gift, I know it will be very, very loved. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial helps. If you have any questions about the pattern, just let me know in the comments and I'll answer them right away, like super fast. I always respond to comments. Have a good rest of your week and I hope you had fun making this.